In this video, we're going to take a look at the important concept of um, indexing and filtering in R. So, um, what we're going to do around is, is play around with this little uh, baby data set. So, uh, I'm going to write down some names of uh, the dwarves. So, Dopey, um, Sneezy, who else have we got? There's Happy, um, who else have we got? Sleepy, grumpy, and let's let's throw in Doc as well. Okay, so that's a, a little data set. Um, the, the dwarves there. We see them there. That that'll do. It's not not all of them, but oh well. Um, and then. Uh, how how do we index that? So how do I only get some of these dwarves? So for example, um, I can just put in the vectors of numbers I want. So I can write dwarves, and then I can just put in a vector one, four, five, and that just spits out the first, the fourth, and the fifth um, dwarf. Um, I can also index using um, I can also create a, a vector using this uh, this colon. So colon to five, that's the vector three, four, five. And then we already saw previously how I can use length to get the length of a vector. So length of dwarfs is six. So for example, I can say, all right, I want the dwarfs from three onwards. Right, so that's giving me one, two, three onwards, all the dwarfs there. So just by putting in a vector, um, and here's a little bit of code to, to get all the, if I don't know the exact numbers, but I want the numbers from one place onwards to, to get the, the vectors. Now, I can also index this. So I don't have to have a, a vector of, of numbers. I can have a vector of Boolean. So I'm going to create a little vector index, and I'm going to say true. False, false, true, false, one, two, three, four, five, and let's say true, um, like like that. And then I can just say, all right, I want the dwarves, dwarves, according to that index. So it's giving me the first, the fourth, and the last, the sixth. Yeah? Now, now, that's very powerful because we can combine what we saw in a previous video, which was um, recycling, to get um, to get elements of a vector that obey a certain rule. So let's create a new index vector and say I want the elements of dwarves whose first uh, letter starts with a D. So I'm using the substring function. But we'll we'll see. Well, let me let me first do that. So let's take a look at the substring function. So substring dwarves in the first position of length one. So I want the substring of dwarves in the first position of length one. And now this is right is actually using recycling right here because I'm applying to the vector dwarves all these things. And so we're getting d s h s g and, and d. So if I create an index, um, which is simply substring dwarves 1 1 when it's equal to D so in other words I'm getting this boolean but remember what I'm actually going to test there is a vector of six D's so it's going to um, recycle as D to, to match that vector up there now if I look at index um, you see that the first and the last so dopey and doc are the ones that are true and then I can just go write dwarves index and run that, and I get the ones I want. So what we're using there is um, indexing, which we saw above here, and uh, recycling to create a set of indexes that we want. We don't need to create that in two parts. We could just write directly dwarves uh, substring of dwarves one one equals d, and that would give the same. Uh, thing. So uh, that's just tapping into the fact that everything's a vector in, in R and understanding how it indexes things.